psychological first aid is, is a new principle and an approach. And it's, it's different from the approach of critical incident stress debriefing. You know, there was a, uh, an argument back, um, oh, it's maybe five or ten years ago now, about what's, what's the best thing to do for a, a group of people who've been traumatized together. Uh, do you want to bring them together to talk about what they went through, which, which is critical incident stress debriefing in a group format? And, and that approach has a few assumptions. One assumption is that talking about it makes you feel better. Get it off your chest. It's good to talk about it. And the other is that if you've gone through something that others have shared, it's good for all of you to hear one another's reactions and feel that you're, you're in a group. You know, there's some group solidarity. Now, on the surface, that makes sense. But when research was done on those populations, it turned out that they had a higher incidence of post-traumatic stress down the road. And, and the reason, I think, that they did is they didn't realize as they were going through it that they were absorbing everybody else's trauma. They had a trauma load that was multiplied by a factor of everyone else who spoke. So at the time, they felt, I'm not alone. I, I like this. But after it was over, without realizing it, their brains, while they were vulnerable, had absorbed a whole lot of trauma imagery, their own and everyone else's. And it, was, it placed them at higher risk for PTSD. So if we don't do that, what do we do? And what we do, we call psychological first aid. So here's a classroom and one of their classmates has been killed or run over. Whether they saw it or not, the whole class feels the pain. So you bring in uh, an expert on talking to kids. And the expert might say to the kids or to the parents, here's how to provide first aid. Uh, be comforting. Be a listener if someone wants to talk. Don't force someone to talk. Don't have a whole school session in which there's social pressure to look at this image and, and think about it. Uh, but keep an eye on one another. And if you notice certain things that are troubling, then refer for professional help. And the things that are troubling are a change in personality, uh, getting very withdrawn or very angry in an older group. It would include using excessive alcohol. Uh, it would include having nightmares or flashbacks and having those last for several weeks. And once it passes a month, if you have nightmares, flashbacks, you're withdrawn, you're very anxious, well, that's post-traumatic stress and it's worthwhile to see an expert.